What is up everyone? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm discussing garbage. Sorry, I mean gaudy. Yeah, so this review is a little late. It's a week late and I never planned on actually seeing this film. But the reason I went and see it is because the marketing after the week it came out hit me. It got me to the point where I wanted to see how bad this film could actually be. Because if you guys haven't followed on their Twitter page, and I don't know if it's on Facebook as well, but I know on Twitter they are posting, this is the film critics do not want you to see. This film has a 0% on Rotten Tomatoes. The audience rating's pretty high. I don't believe audiences believe that because I have talked to people who come into my work, and I talk to them who have seen it, and they all say it sucks. So... Yeah, I still want to check out the film for myself because maybe I went into this film thinking, will this be one of those films that it's so bad, it's so good? No, this film's freaking boring. Just, ugh. I mean that. It's just, ugh. It, it's not a good movie. This is one of the worst gangster films I've ever seen. And I hate trashing a film. I hate talking crap about a film. I hate bashing a film. But I have to. I'm not going to totally destroy this film because I don't want to rip it a new one. It, people already have. That I, I'm a, I want to talk about what would have made this film better. Because it looked like everyone was at least trying in some sense of the way. The, the big problem with this film is the directing. The direction and that what they took the story and used the script just did not work. It was very jumbled. There's no structure. I can't even tell you what the film is about. I can tell you that it's about Gotti and his life, but nothing persistent or something that just focused in on one particular thing that Gotti did. It tries to tell a whole span of his crime organization life, which doesn't work in a hour and 30, hour and 40 minute movie. This film would have worked so much better as a Netflix series or an HBO series or just something on television, to be honest, with John Travolta playing that character. Again, John Travolta was fine in it, not one of the worst performances I've ever seen, and especially, like, all the actors in here, I thought, yes, were they not the best performance? Yeah, they, they were just fine or bad, but I think a lot of that goes to the script in a direction. It looked like they were just, like, they filmed the scene, they're like, oh, yep, good take, let's keep going. And that's what they felt. The film just feels rushed. It feels not paced right. The pacing is horrible. It doesn't get you structured into watching the film. It sucks to see this because I know John Travolta is a fantastic actor. Pulp Fiction is probably one of his best performances. If even, Face Off is another great movie that he's in. It feels like that he was pushing for this film to be made so heavily. And it sucks to see this film come out and not live up to what I'm sure he wanted and what other people wanted because Gotti's a very cool character he's a good cool guy to look into history because with these gangsters with these true stories that you could be telling and it just doesn't work out that way again the whole film the whole film rests on the direction and the director Kevin Conley directs this film which I don't know if this is his first directorial debut but it's horrible the direction is piss poor and there is no structure again to the film and that is what brought the film down for me i was restless in my seat i just wanted to leave but for some reason i kept watching it thinking will it get good at all and it never does i also have to say the i know i say the f word a lot but this film says it a lot and I felt like a lot of times it was not necessary. And I'm usually not the person to say that. But the film rests the F words and the mother Fers. It rests it and it just feels very unnecessary. Music is portrayed by Pitbull. Yeah, Pitbull did music for this film apparently. And it just opens up to feel like a Fast and Furious film at times. Oh, did I even mention that this film also feels like... Do you guys remember that film Black Dynamite? Yeah, some of the scenes feel like it was filmed in that era or filmed like that movie. I might be telling you guys about this film and it might sound like one of those films that's so bad it's so good but it's not very disappointing film for me because again i hate bashing films but it really is one of the worst films i've ever seen there is no structure yes are there some entertaining moments to it yes but it's so far and few between there's nothing that just structures it to make me levitate to even recommend the film again this is a film that i can't ever recommend it sucks because i know i could tell travolta was trying I just feel like a better direction and maybe even this being put on a Netflix or a HBO or a Showtime series would have been the best route. I think it would have made for a better structured story. I would have been able to actually tell the story of Gotti. But in fact, this film just turns into garbage. With all that said, I'm going to give Gotti an F. And I hate doing that. The fact that they are marking this film how it is, I hope to God people actually don't spend their money on this one. I used MoviePass to get through it. MoviePass should be thanking me because I went early in the morning at a $5 movie theater at an AMC so you guys could save your money. 
You're welcome, Movie Pass. Guys, tell me down below, have you guys seen Gotti or Garbage? Whatever you think about it, I want to hear about it down below. If you guys like this film, I want to hear about it. Because if you like this film for some reason, we got to talk about it down below. But of course, guys, if you guys are new here, make sure to consider subscribing and also liking this video because I do tons of movie reviews and rankings also on this channel. i got tons of videos coming out very soon for you guys. guys if you guys want to talk about other movie stuff, hit up all my social media links and then also go over to Sandwich on Films down below. Right there, you guys can get into advanced movie screens, check out some movie news and also some movie reviews. But guys, you guys know what I'm going to say next. I'm Stay Classy.